Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. We all know that 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water, with oceans alone holding nearly 97% of said water. The vast seas are home to a myriad of different species of plants and animals. In fact, there's more than 228,450 types of life so far that have been discovered. But despite that high number, humanity still hasn't explored 80% of the ocean, even to this day. In light of this, scientists suggest that there could be more than 2 million species out there that are yet to be discovered. Isn't that insane? In fact, we've explored a larger percentage of Mars and the moon surface than we have of our own ocean floor. At least, though, among the aquatic species we do know of, we can include the deadly shark. Sharks are one of the largest, deadliest species out there. Yet, some sharks are more fascinating than fearsome. Let's talk about 10 rare shark species. 10 most rare shark species hidden in the ocean. Number 10. The Frilled Shark. The frilled shark is one of the most terrifying-looking creatures out there in the ocean. Though they're found mostly at depths of 1,500 meters or 4,921 feet, you may be able to spot them just 50 to 200 meters or 164 to 656 feet down in Japan's Suruga Bay. The frilled shark derives its name from the six pairs of gill slits on its throat, which give the creature a frilled appearance. Sharks usually have five gills instead of six. The six gills and other things, such as its eel-like features, dark brown color, articulation of the jaw at the cranium, and its 2-meter or 6.5-feet-long body, cause this shark to be considered a living fossil. In addition, it has dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins towards its tail, and is known to move through the water like an eel, bending and slithering. Because its jaw is so long and flexible, the field shark is also known for swallowing prey whole. The inside of its mouth is terrifying, equipped with 300 recurved needle-like teeth. Besides these bits of scary information, not much is known about this ancient shark, as encounters with them in the wild are extremely rare. Number 9. The Sharp-Nosed Seven-Gill Shark the sharp-nosed seven-gill shark is the only living species of the heptrain Chias genus. This is because this shark has seven gills instead of the usual five most other sharks have. The only other shark with seven gills is the broad-nosed seven-gill shark. The sharp-nosed seven-gill shark is known by a few other names worldwide, too. The one-finned shark, perlon shark, seven-gill cow shark, sharp-snouted seven-gill, or slender seven-gill shark. Though their name sounds quite intense, they're actually rather small, ranging 0.6 to 1.2 meters, or 2 to 4 feet in length, with a slender body and narrow pointed head. Size aside, they're very active and fierce predators, often preying on invertebrates and other fish. They're also known for being quite defensive and may bite if they feel threatened. So, it's always better to stay a safe distance from them, even though the chances of someone encountering these deep water creatures is very low. Number 8. The Ghost Shark The rare ghost shark is also known by some other names. The elephant shark, whitefish, mako reap, plow-nosed chimera, and elephant fish. This predator lives off the coasts of Australia and New Zealand. They're often found lurking at depths of up to 200 meters or 656 feet down. Even though they're called sharks, they're actually a group of cartilaginous fish that belong to the subclass known as chimeras. This fish has a really scary appearance, mainly due to its strange head shape, ghastly coloration, and eerie black eyes. They have a silver body with iridescent reflections and dark, variable markings on the sides. Also, they have an elongated body with a maximum length of 102 centimeters, or 49 inches. Their average lifespan is 15 years. Number 7. The Goblin Shark the goblin shark is a rather unusual-looking species of deep-sea sharks, often found in depths of more than 100 meters or 328 feet. They're usually called living fossils, as they're representative of a 125 million years old lineage known as Mitsukurinidae. They usually grow up to 3 to 4 meters, or 9.8 to 12 feet long, but longer specimens do exist. These ancient beasts have pink skin and distinctive features, such as a flat, elongated snout and a highly protrusable jaw with prominent needle-like teeth. But in contrast to their scary mouths, 
They're rather flabby and have small fins, so they move rather slowly. These creatures inhabit the sea floors, such as upper continental slopes, seamounts, and submarine canyons. They have the ability to sense electric fields produced by nearby prey using their long snout. Even though the goblin shark is quite rare, it's classified as the least concern due to its wide distribution and low capture rate. Number 6. The Angular Rough Shark the angular rough shark is the only extant genus of the family Oxynotidae. They tend to live at depths of 60 to 600 meters, or 1,968 feet in the eastern Atlantic from Norway to South America and throughout the Mediterranean. These sharks tend to have a compressed body with a broad, flat head. They can be identified through a light horizontal line under their eyes on the cheek. However, their most distinctive features include their massive spiracles, their slightly forward-oriented dorsal fins, and their large dermal denticles, which are the fish scales above their eyes. Usually, they can be found at the bottom of the sea, lurking above sandy and muddy surfaces of sea beds. Consistent landings by fishermen, as well as bycatches by deep-sea fisheries, have caused the population of the angular rough shark to be listed as an endangered species. Number 5. The Scalloped Hammerhead The scalloped hammerhead shark looks more like an alien than an actual fish. Also known as the bronze hammerhead, kinky-headed hammerhead, and the southern hammerhead, it is the most common of all hammerheads. It belongs to the family Sphernidae, in which the Greek word sferna translates to hammer in English. This, of course, refers to the shark's most distinctive feature, its hammer-headed head. They have relatively small mouths, and their eyes and nostrils are unusually located at the tips of their snout extensions. According to scientists, their wide head boosts their vision and hunting prowess. They can be found in warm, temperate, and tropical coastal water depths of 500 meters, or 1,640 feet. While males can grow up to nearly 1.8 meters or 6 feet in length, the females can grow up to more than 2.4 meters or 8 feet. Sadly, their population is critically endangered, mostly due to commercial fishing in the shark fin trade. Number 4. The Dusky Shark The Dusky Shark is a species of migratory shark that mostly often live in tropical, warm, and temperate waters. They travel thousands of kilometers seasonally, migrating towards the poles in summer and the equator in winter. They usually live at depths of more than 400 meters, or 1,312 feet, and they are the largest of their genus, weighing 347 kilograms or 765 pounds, and measuring up to 4.2 meters or 14 feet long. Watch out, for the dusky sharks have the strongest bite of any shark, producing 60 kilograms or 132 pounds of force. Naturally, this means they're very dangerous for humans, though, thank goodness, attacks are very rare. However, they're one of the slowest growing sharks, having the longest gestation period of any shark. This means they mature very late, not reaching adulthood for 20 years. And this, in turn, makes them more vulnerable to population depletion caused by humans. They're extremely valuable in commercial fishing for their meat, skin, liver oil, and fins, which are used to make shark fin soup. In addition, they're also esteemed by recreational fishers. Number 3. The Saddled Swell Shark The saddled swell shark is a very uncommon species of cat shark, which is one of the largest shark families. They're native to eastern Australia and can be found at the bottom of the ocean at depths of 115 to 605 meters, or 378 to 1,987 feet. Their favorite deep water areas are around continental shelves and upper continental slopes. They derive their name from saddle patterns on their brownish or grayish body, which varies depending on if they're living in tropical or temperate waters. They protect themselves by inflating or swelling up, just like other swell sharks, and honestly, this looks pretty funny. They may have learned this defensive mechanism because they're pretty small, only growing up to 74 centimeters or 29 inches in length. To say they have a robust body is an understatement. They also have a broad, flattened head and a roomy mouth. The saddled swell shark is currently listed as nearly threatened, but their rarity and bottom-dwelling characteristics makes them vulnerable. Number 2. Oceanic Whitetip Shark The oceanic whitetip shark is known by a myriad of names. The brown milbert sand shark, the brown shark, the lesser white shark, the nigano shark, the oceanic white-tipped whaler, and the silver-tipped shark. 
But if you still don't recognize this beast from any of those names, you'll certainly recognize it from how it looks. This standard shark is notable for its stocky body and long, white-tipped, rounded fins. These are migratory sharks, preferring tropical and warm temperate waters. And even though they're a bit slow in terms of movement, they're extremely aggressive and are a feared wrath for shipwreck survivors. However, since the mid-1990s, their population has declined by nearly 85% in the Gulf of Mexico and decreased substantially in the Atlantic Ocean. This is the result of overfishing for their valuable fins for shark fin soup and also from bycatching. Number 1. The Megamouth Shark the Megamouth Shark, as you can already guess, gets its name from its massive head with rubbery lips. Though these creatures can most commonly be found alternating between the shallow and deep waters of Taiwan and Japan, they've also been spotted traveling through the waters of the Atlantic Ocean and Indian and Pacific Oceans. These diurnal sharks are the smallest of the three extant filter-feeding sharks, along with the whale shark and basking shark. This means that they mostly eat plankton and jellyfish, primarily swimming with their mouths open and filtering water. Yes, they're quite gentle and slow-moving creatures. Only discovered in 1976, less than 200 specimens to date have been found. That makes this shark extremely rare, and human megamouth interactions rarer still. According to reports, when humans do interact with this shark, they've been observed to be non-aggressive. There have been no attacks to date. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.